y'all, I'm Brushfire Wind Dragon, and welcome back to my kingdom for the princess. Uh, we're gonna have to be... I'm going to have to, uh, quickly play through this session. Uh, magic tablecloth. Put all the pieces together, and you will be rewarded with a magic tablecloth. The magic tablecloth constantly increases the quantity of food in your stores. Which is good, because you always need it, food. I love puzzles. So we got the milk, and veggies, and cake, and cheese. That was a pretzel, but I guess it's just some sort of bread. Arthur and Helen boarded a ship and sailed to Rocky Island. With the sky a stunning blue and the sun shining brightly, it seemed they hadn't a care in the world. But the captain told them that the tornado had caused many avalanches and rock slides. The roads were unpassable, the wells were filled in, and the local inhabitants were eating crusts of bread and prairie dogs. What's more, mountain spirits had awakened and come forth from the dark caves. Unable to find peace, these spirits wandered the island and made horrible noises. Good knights, of course, are not afraid of ghosts, but princesses? Helen and Arthur became friends during their journey. And perhaps they were more than friends. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Have a banana, princess. The shore is on the horizon. Have a banana? Okay, and here we are on Rocky Island. Unfriendly. Open up access to the gold mine. You will need gold in order to remove in order to remove the boulders blocking the path to the south. And now you have a magic tablecloth that provides a constant supply of food. One gold mine and three rocks to remove. And here we go. Oh, large sawmill. Now you can expand your sawmill into a large sawmill, which produ produces two units of wood each minute of play. A new bonus! The ability to speed up work. While it is activated, workers will work much faster. Now you can upgrade the sawmill to a large sawmill. Oh. Piles of rock are blocking the road to the south. Removing these rock piles is hard work. The workers will need lots of food and gold. And here we are at the end. Let's see. You expanded your castle. What have I got? A new window. Nice. Go east to the collapsed bridge and rebuild it. Don't forget to build a gold mine as well. Uh, yeah. One gold for each minute of play. Thank you. 
And there we go. You expanded your castle. Oh, I got another little tower. Your path lies to the north. In order to enable the workers to clear all the rocks and boulders from the path, you must build a temple to drive off the ghosts that are scaring them. Okay. And this is it right here. <laughs> you expanded your castle. Oh, they made the tower bigger. Let's see. Make your way to the abandoned fisherman's hut. Once it is restored, it will give you an additional supply of food. Afterwards, continue north. So now we don't only have uh, the magic tablecloth and the farms, but we also have fishermen's huts. An abandoned fisherman's hut is in the northeast by the river. Repair it and you will have an additional supply of food. Level. Let's see. You expanded your castle. Yeah. Oh, there's a path to the door now. It's not just grass. Let's see. There lies a rare blue diamond on the other side of the precipice in the northwest. In the eastern valley are three flowers with medicinal properties. You need to get these items. So the diamonds, the flowers, and the bridge. Deep gold mine. Now you can expand your mining operations by digging deeper. Deep gold mine produces two units of gold each minute of life. Thank you. 
Okay, done with this level. Got the diamonds and the flowers. You expanded your castle. Look what I got. Oh, I got a whole new addition. I wouldn't call that a tower. It's like much... Except it's just really wide. I guess it is a tower. Oh, it's bonus level! You yeah. expanded your castle. Woohoo! Oh, they made the window bigger. I and acquire one more diamond and medicinal flower. It is important to compare them to the ones you found on the previous level. Large farm. Now you can expand your farm. A large farm produces two units of food each minute of play. How'd I do this time? You expanded your castle. Oh, new windows again. Those are nice. Hmm. 2.8. So I guess that's 12. I have five more levels. Harvest the medicinal flowers that grow in the south on the distant plateau. Lodge. Now you can expand your cottage into a lodge. A lodge can house three workers.
And here we go. You expanded your Okay. Oh. Got a little balcony over the water. Collect 40 units of gold and continue on the road to the southeast. Extra deep gold mine. Now you can continue digging and expand your mining activities further by enlarging your deep mine into an extra deep mine. An extra deep mine produces 3 units of gold each minute of delay. Nice. And there's the end. You expanded your castle. Oh, another little tower, and it's pointy. Okay. Ahead lie only mountains and deep dark woods. Hope it won't stop you. Make your way to the river in the southwest and rebuild the bridge. Where am I? Just one. 
you expanded your castle. Oh, that's a much bigger tower. Okay. Hot air balloon. And here is the vehicle that will transport you to the next continent. Clear the road to it and collect 40 units of wood and go on along the way. Fisherman's hut. Now you can build your own fisherman's hut. It will produce one unit of food each unit, uh, each minute of play. Okay. There we go. I got the hot air balloon. You expanded your castle. Oh, it's pointy. Magic wood pile. Put all the pieces together and you will be rewarded with a magic wood pile. Oh! Magic wood pile constantly increases the quantity of wood in your stores. And there's the wood pile. There is nothing more romantic than flying over the blue sea in a hot air balloon with a beautiful princess who is heiress to an entire kingdom. One could fly through life gazing into the distance. The pilot reported that the town folk were spreading rumors that the expedition had failed and that Arthur had been captured by spirits and that the princess had been carried off by the dragon. Staring at them, he could hardly believe his own eyes. Helen's father had not recovered from the lightning bolt. Such was the news. Morning was announced in the kingdom. King Olgert no longer ate or drank, and the townsfolk said he was not long for this world. And the road ahead is still long. Ahead lies the land of sand, a desert scorched by the sun and full of quicksand. 
Everything there moves slowly and likes to sleep in the shade. But good knights never doubt their success. Okay, I'm going to stop here for the time being. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. And this is Brushfire Wind Dragon signing off.